Today, how to install a Wemo switch. Review today. We're talking about the Wemo light switch. It's a light switch that is Wi Fi enabled, allows you to go through the app, turn on and off your lights wherever you are. You can also set up timers, um, you can have it turn on and off at dusk, all kinds of great stuff. As you can see here, so we'll just do a quick unbox. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the power at the breaker box. Don't attempt this while the power's on. Then we'll pull off the faceplate here and oops. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna need a new faceplate. Um, so this is the switch that I'm going to replace. So we'll start off by popping that puppy out of the wall, but those wires are pretty tight back there, so I'm gonna pop this switch off too, just so I have a bit more room to work. So once I do that, I can get a little more access room here and pop off those two black wires. Now, one thing to note, uh, Wemo is talking about having access to Google Home. That still hasn't happened yet. Hopefully, it's going to be coming in the very near future. In the meantime, you'll have to use the Wemo app. So here's the switch. All the wires are installed. The two for the switch, one for ground, one for neutral. Um, so we're going to start off by installing the neutral. Um, now, one thing to note, if you don't have a neutral already installed in your light switch box here, you won't be able to use this switch. So if you have that neutral wire, you're good to go. Otherwise, you'll have to rewire the whole light switch just to install this. The ground goes into the back. Now, the ground is not mandatory, um, but if you have it, hey, never hurts to put it in. You know what? Better safe than sorry. And then finally, of course, those black wires attached to the black wires. Doesn't matter which one goes to which. Um, you just kind of twist them together, and then these little orange caps come with the switch, and you just twist those on to keep them nice and connected. Now you'll notice that uh, Whoever installed these three switches kind of daisy chained them together. So we'll just clip those two apart and then splice in the wire for the new switch, twist them together, and we're good to go. And once those are all put together, that's it. That's all the wiring you need to do. And then you just pop these things back onto the box. Uh, again, you know, you got uh, the screws that come with it, so the only thing you're going to need as far as installation is a screwdriver, really. Pop all those switches on and then put the, what's left of the faceplate back on there. And it's good to go. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now, the switch itself took about mm, three or four minutes for it to acquire power and the Wi-Fi signal it needed. Once that's ready to go, just open up your smartphone, connect to the hotspot that it creates out of the switch, then open up the Wemo app, and it will connect it to your Wi-Fi, and you're good to go. From there, you open up the Wemo app, and you have access to turn on and off that light wherever you are in the world. And of course, you can turn it on, and you can turn it off. Very handy, very self-explanatory. And of course, you can turn on and off the switch itself. So there you have it. There is the Wemo light switch. Still no Google Home integration. Hopefully that's coming soon, but it works well enough. I'm Reviewy McReviewface, and I'll see you next review.